Hi, and welcome to Four Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. And in this video, I'll show you my five favorite keyboard shortcuts in Notion so that you can become more productive than ever. Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life. And we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. So subscribe to Four Minute Answers. And when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. As you already know, Notion is an amazing tool that has thousands of various advantages to it. And keyboard shortcuts are an amazing way to speed up your work, avoid the ache of using the mouse or touchpad too much, and to make Notion even more powerful for you. Here are my five favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time with my MacBook laptop. Number five, text coloring. Now in some uses, I like text to be in different colors, especially for blocks that I want to emphasize or stand out or even just subheaders where you want to use color. To do this, on a new block, type backslash and then type in the name of a color, say orange, O-R-A-N-G-E, and then hit enter. Now whatever you type in that block until you hit enter again will be the color you chose. So I think that's pretty cool. But right now in Notion, you can colorize the entire block, but not just a word in the block. But still, I think this is an awesome keyboard shortcut. Number four, adjust text size. Well, to do subheads or section headers, you want to be able to set the text size without having to navigate by mouse. And here's how. You type backslash and then H1 or H2 or H3, and you're set. Like with color, anything you type in that block until you hit enter will be of that text size. Number three, combo, text size plus text color. Now you can do both of these things, which I think is very cool. So uh, it doesn't matter which order you do this, but you do one and then the other. For example, backslash H1, and then I can hit enter, and that would adjust the text size, but then backslash type in orange or red or whatever color, hit enter, and now anything that I type in that block is going to be both the size that I want and the color that I want. It's pretty cool that you can stack these keyboard commands on top of each other. Number two, dark mode and light mode. Now I love using dark mode at night, but not during the day, but through a simple keyboard command, I can move between the two. Command shift L, command shift L toggles between light and dark modes. It's simple, it's easy, uh, you can do it all the time. Command Shift L for dark mode and light mode. Number one, opening a new Notion window. Now there are times where I need to reference something on a different page in Notion. But to do that, it used to mean that I would have to get out of where I was, go to another page in Notion, find what I was looking for, and then go back to where I originally was. Instead, with a simple keyboard command, I can open up a second instance of Notion and have them both open, making it easy for me to toggle back and forth between those two uh, and get what I need. Simply use Shift Command N. That's Shift Command N, all three, uh, and you'll create a new instance of Notion. It's awesome. I use it every day. Now, there are other Notion keyboard shortcuts that you can use, and I've attached a link in the description for you below. But now you know five great and really useful keyboard shortcuts for Notion. If you've got questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, add it in the comments below and be sure to check out our other four-minute answer videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks and see you soon.